Each year, 1.3 million Americans will hear the words that no one ever wants to hear. You have cancer. Each year, countless parents hear the devastating words, your child is autistic. And they're not alone. Diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, the list goes on and on. For the millions of people diagnosed with these diseases and disorders, there is rarely hope of recovery. But the Translational Genomics Research Institute, or TGen as it's known, is working hard to unlock the mysteries of human disease using genetic clues. TGen's headquarters in downtown Phoenix is the professional home of nearly 200 people, including world-class scientists, focused on changing the lives of people everywhere by developing better diagnostics and new advanced treatments for patients with disease. Spearheading this effort is TGen's president, Dr. Jeffrey Trent, who was a founding scientific director at the National Institutes of Health's entity that sequenced the human genome, the three billion base pairs of DNA that make up the blueprint for life. All of what we know in medicine will be defined by what we knew before the Human Genome Project and, and after the Human Genome Project. Armed with the sequenced human genome, Dr. Trent and other scientific investigators at TGen are taking the next step, discovering which genes are involved in complex diseases and quickly translating those discoveries into improved patient care. Over the coming years, we're going to increasingly look at the individual through the lens of their own genetic information and use that to help us uh, treat the disease. So there's, you know, today there's a focus on the disease. Tomorrow there'll be a focus through the individual uh, towards the disease. It may seem minimal. It's going to be a remarkably transforming, incredibly beneficial, incredibly individualizing aspect to, to medicine. A pioneer in developing therapies that target specific diseases is Dr. Daniel Von Hoff, head of clinical research and new drug development at TGen. We know uh, by giving medicines to many people, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Uh, and some people have reactions that are bad, some don't. So it's all going to certainly be about personalized medicine. Many, many people have visualized it. Many people have talked about it. We want to do it. TGen is giving hope to patients like Atlanta businessman Howard Young, one of Dr. Von Hoff's patients. Diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and given only a few months to live, Howard exhausted all traditional treatments. The general consensus was I had done everything that I could do. And, uh, but we met with Dr. Von Hoff and he said there's still more that we can do based on the research that we have at uh, TGen and through the pancreatic cancer research team, we've identified certain markers based on a, a DNA, a genetic, uh, bases that we can treat more specifically with a non-toxic chemotherapy. That treatment helped this 44-year-old father of three to beat the odds. He has already outlived the one-year survival rate since being diagnosed with this deadly form of cancer. When you're diagnosed with cancer, it really gets your attention, and uh, to say the least. And then when you're told you have pancreatic cancer or a cancer where there's no cure, that really uh, can, can get you down. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think Dr. Von Hoff and his research offers hope. And uh, the people at TGen offer the uh, cancer patients that hope, and that's really all we need. Hope is what Jane Christensen clings to with her six-year-old son, okay. Collie. After Let's try developing one more normally time. his first year of life, one more he started time. withdrawing and then acting out. After many tests, he was diagnosed okay, with no, autism, a neurological disorder okay. for which at present there is no cure. There are signs that show up, lack of eye contact, um, the ability to become hyper-focused on, on something. My son was hyper-focused on uh, books and videos and really removed himself from the family. He lost language, where before I was saying mama, dada, he, he lost his language. In recent years, there's been a dramatic surge in the incidence of autism. It has become the leading childhood developmental disorder in this country. And the CDC predicts that one in 166 children will be affected by it. To find answers, TGen is performing the largest genomic study of autism ever undertaken, scanning the DNA of thousands of autistic children, including couples. Um, without the information that we get from TGen, 
um, I don't know if there's going to be an answer. So that's why we are so excited. Diabetes is another disease that is appearing with increasing incidence. Not far from TGEN's headquarters in Phoenix is the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian community where nearly half of all adults suffer from diabetes. Early on, the tribe became financial supporters of TGEN's efforts to find out why this debilitating disease is soaring within its population. We start seeing uh, more and more of, of uh, the diet uh, changing, the physical activity uh, uh, becoming less and less, and uh, that, that's when we've seen uh, the diabetes rates really starting to, to climb and, and to the rates they are today. But we hope that uh, one day that there, there'll be some medicines and some some deterrence that, that, that uh, can, can come from the research that they're doing and hopefully maybe even a, a, a cure. Finding better answers to diagnose, prevent, and treat disease is only one part of the equation for researchers like TGEN senior investigator Dr. Michael Behrens. It is also about getting these scientific advances to patients as quickly as possible. That's where all the labs in TGEN are directed. Better diagnostic tests, earlier tests, could we see the disease while it was smaller? Uh, and once it's there, can we find ways to treat it more effectively? Fewer side effects and better outcomes for those patients. We have certainly as a part of the mission of the Institute a sense of urgency. Wait is a four-letter word. We, we really want to move expediently. TGEN supporters are inspired by the focus on urgency. After suffering personal tragedy, Phoenix attorney Richard Mallory became one of the earliest champions to establish TGEN in Arizona. Five years ago, my wife Francie was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of cancer. I hope she would feel I'm keeping my promise. I promised her that something good would come from her death. And we've just started. Like that marvelous quote from Robert Frost, the woods are lovely, dark, and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. We've just started, and I think she'd say, it's a good start. Now, get on with it. By bringing more people together, you're going to get answers faster. And that, to me, is, is kind of the, the secret of TGEN. They're, they're working with great researchers at the universities. They're, they're working with the hospitals, which is the clinical side they'll be able to get the research out to the patients quicker than ever before. There's a sense that they must get on with the work. It is so urgent and that the recent medical breakthroughs are such that now is the time to move. Uh, we can't really afford to wait. They feel that pain personally. Only with the mapping of the human genome and the convergence of powerful information technologies is it possible to even conceive of treating patients based on their individual genetic makeup. 80 to 90 percent of the work being done at TGEN today absolutely was not possible uh, to even perform 10 years ago. So the tools, the technologies, the approaches that we use in our everyday work simply didn't exist 10 years ago. TGEN represents a new paradigm in medical research. And with the continued support of friends and partners, TGEN will persist in its goal of bringing cutting-edge diagnostics and treatments to those patients who suffer from humanity's most debilitating diseases. Because the problem is not just a lack of ideas or many good ideas. Part of it is the development of those ideas to move them again urgently and directly to patient benefit. And TGEN has the, the tools, they have the partnerships, and they have the experience that give the confidence for these scientists uh, that if they find something in the laboratory, they'll be able to benefit a patient. 